Hey guys, welcome back. This is Faisal Khan from Voice Bootcamp. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your groups in Genesis Cloud. Now, the groups are very important because they create communities within your organization based on common skills, relationships, locations, and other information. And you can see the members of a group on group profile page as well as persons pro group within your profile page. So think about group is like kind of like a, uh, you know, uh, um, you go to group profile page to see who you are a member with. Like if you are a part of the sports community or maybe you're part of the fire department, uh, uh, emergency community, you can create a group called emergency group um, and responsible for, for fires and emergency evacuations, right? So you can create a group like that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a couple, uh, two groups in our environment. So here under admin, right here directory, you see the groups and we're gonna create a, Let's say create a group. And in this phase, we're gonna say general group. It's gonna be VBC. Uh, let's call this emergency team, okay? Uh, emergency team. Now that this could be emergency, meaning that, uh, you know, every org large organization have a group of people who are responsible for fire. Uh, if something happens in the fire, they will usually guide people into the uh, exit, uh, emergency exit. And it's going to be an official. Some groups are going to be just, uh, let's say, you know, uh, a, a specific people. Now, visibility, it could be members, pub uh, owners, or public. So I'm going to say members only because only certain group of people who are going to be part of certain users who are going to be part of this group. All right, the second group I'm going to create, let's call this, um, well, let's customize the group first. So here is the emergency, and I want to apply, uh, let's say, uh, we're going to change the picture. Right at the top, uh, we're going to change the profile picture. So let's say I create this profile picture called VBC right there. We're gonna upload this. And that's gonna be our emergency profile. Now you can add certain members who are gonna be part of it. So I'm gonna say pod one. Oops, not there. Let's see if we can add individual pod one. Oh, add individual. Arun, we'll add Arun into that as well. And let's say we will add one more, uh, Gmail, part one. Okay, so these are the individuals who are also member. I am the owner, as you can see, part of the list of the owner, which will have the options to add and remove persons. Okay, so I am done i can also assign a role if i want to but right now we're not going to uh, if i want to enable it i can say this group will have some admin functionality maybe because i don't know group admin let's say group administration so i will give this group uh, admin privileges because they are the emergency team right they may need to do something all right so you can change this other thing like added general settings so put a description uh, team who is responsible responsible for emergency evacuation okay you can say I don't know 911 at voicebootcamp.com maybe you want to create an email call e e911 at voicebootcamp.com so that you know it's a group mail so that they can share some information alrighty uh, you can also change some privacy rule so only members can view it or public or owner So if you do need to change make it a public group for some reason You could do that as well or only restrict it to the owner as well So I'm not going to change any of the settings of course you can delete the group should you desire so on the left hand side you should see uh, some you know is an official group and you can provide a star, the team who is responsible for emergency evacuation, location. Right now, we don't have any location. Obviously, you want to add a location. So the, let's say this is the Toronto location, an emergency group for the head office, site contact, Faisal. 
and location will be my address, right? I mean, it does pick up the location. So we got the Indianapolis, we got the Toronto, we will add another locations. So it has been verified. Let's add our Las Vegas location. We do have office in Las Vegas. Uh, let's say Faisal also the location. And that is a 1810 East Sahara Avenue right there. And suite 347. Okay, so this team is responsible for both locations. Now there are some profile field you can modify if you want to. Uh, you can upload Im Im uh, you can upload image uh, what do you call certain values, uh, or you can also assign phone number to this particular group as well. So to add the phone number to a group, so when you go back to the general. See right here, you have the option called enable calls. Turn it on. So you must specify a number. Okay, so now we need to assign a number to this group. So let's uh, assign the number 13179831002. So let's go ahead and save. Okay, so that's how you assign a phone number to the group. Okay, so you have seen how you can create a group and assign this group to the user. So let's say if you go to the admin, sorry, the profile of the users, and you should see your official group right here, emergency. You're part of this group called VBC emergency. This is again useful because then you know that this individual is responsible for customer relationship, PR group, emergency group, maybe uh, food uh, bank group, something that you know, charity organization that you might do for your, your company. All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully, you understand what the purpose of the group is and how to create them. And until then, I will see you in the next video.